All right, all right, all right, Cancer. Tell me what the answer is, baby. It's it's me, Ra. It is Shiva. It's it's Vera. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time. Yes, indeed, to let you guys know what the T and what the B in the ear for the month of August 2021, baby. We're here to have some fun. I know I'm late, y'all. I'm late, but I'm coming in great. I got some extra goodies for you guys. Just because I'm very, very <laughs> late with the August reading for you guys. So this time when we're doing the love portion of the reading, I will be using my Rebel decks here. And I will be doing something for the couples and the singles. And be, you know, and use my regular clarifier decks that I was using in the regular readings anyway. So we just going to make it do what it do. So buckle y'all seats. It, we probably going to be here for a minute. Get you a drink. Get you a shot. You already know what we going to do. So I want to give a big shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Every last one of my babies who have come through. Like, share, subscribe. Click this video and just giving me support. The number one, the best way that you can give me support. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Y'all hit that thumbs up button. So, you know, you can tell a friend and tell a friend. And, you know, everybody can get to see me and get to know me and get to love me, okay? If there's anybody that would like a book or reading, all you got to do is message me on Instagram in the description of this video. And on the About tab on my YouTube page, it shows the various links of how to connect with me. And pricing and all of that good stuff so if you want to book with me send me a message on Instagram if you don't have an Instagram um, email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com and I'll go ahead and take care of you everything will look good I'm going to get you on the schedule you understand so before we get into anything we're going to um, give Father God the creator the universe whatever it is that you call him however it is that you know he resonates in your life we want to give him acknowledgement praise we want to give him his flowers we want to show him our love before we ask you know for guidance so if you wouldn't mind Bow your head with me or lift your hands up and pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hello. Father God, we thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of cancer. We thank you so much for the evolution, how we've been involving, Father God, through this season. You know, we're stepping into harvest season, Father God. Uh, we've just been blessed. Things have been paid in full. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I don't know where. Okay. Y'all cashing checks. Come on. Put some respect on cancer name. Listen, certain debts have been paid in full, Father God. So we just continuously traveling right now. We on our destination. We are moving past our block. I don't know why I had to say that. Someone is moving past their block. Um, I like that. Hold on. Can I, okay. So Father God, I thank you so much for just how everything, all this, this the positivity and love has just been resonating in our spirit and in our heart and our mind and our soul, Father God. We thank you so much for just molding us, you know, differently. You know, I thank you so much for um, every single uh, bit of unity that's been coming in the sign of cancer. I thank you so much for the strength. I thank you so much for the vocal skills, us being more vocal and outwards, not going in the shell, just being more present in our blessings, Father God. We thank you so much for all the uh, gifts and the light and the joy. Father God, please give us the guidance that we need to receive today for the sign of cancer in August. Amen, amen, and amen. Hold on, cancer, because I'm trying to tell you, I really just seen something. So hold on, let's hold on. Calling these blessings real quick. Let me just run my mouth. Um, I don't know why I just felt like someone has been keeping themselves secluded to I don't know if it's a neighborhood, a certain set of friends, a social group, an environment, and it's like I feel that season is over, like things have changed. It's time to re examine your purpose, your gifts. Um, and at the grand scheme of things, it's at the, the bigger picture. Do you still want to be here when it's all said and done? No. You know, it's like your life is urging, it's desiring, it's yearning for something more than just that block. That group of people or whatever that situation is. So... I don't know. That's just what I was intuitively channeling. Let's get into this reader, Cancer. Let's get into it. So, I done pulled out a few of my older decks. I got a bunch of new decks. Um, 
Uh, I thank you guys for all of the love and support that you guys were giving me on my break. So let's see. Give me guidance for Cancer for August. Okay, I like this. Okay, I'm going to take both of these cards. I'm definitely going to take both of these cards because I surely got a message in this. Um, right now, I feel like you guys, it's like you stripped yourself from feeling vulnerable. You guys feel strong. Um, that balance, how it has that yin and yang on him, and especially with how he has like the, the Joker's little hat on or whatever. Cause that's what I take that as. It's like he's an entertainer. He's a performer. And then he has like these different masks that he's like. You see how he had These are masks. Do y'all see that? In his hands. So. This person has constantly been living in some like a type of parallel universe. Where they have to put one face on for one group of individuals. And a different face on. For these other group of individuals. And it's just like. They feel. Maybe that their overall purpose. Has just been to entertain. And not necessarily be their self. I want it, to. It's something about. This person being bare. This person being naked. I feel like this person is exposing their self. To who they truly are. You know it's like. I had the skill to. Be this for you and be this for you. But now I have to be this for me. Do you understand? The full card typically in tarot is someone that's unwavering faith. Jumping out there. Leaping. That is a card of travel. It's a card of movement. It's a card of hope. It's a card of faith. Do you understand? It's like regardless of what anybody thinks or what anybody says. I'm doing what I need to do because I know I'm going to land on my feet because I know God got me. And number one, I know I got myself. You understand? So this may be the performance of your life right now. And it's like you're doing it for yourself. It's like you're taking these masks off. Um, it's something about you truly resonating in who you are and what you believe in yourself. You understand? So I don't know. I feel like someone is. And then with this one here. Again, this is someone with a mask. Got the little bonsai tree. This is like someone being a dreamer. I don't know if you guys have dreamed about this moment. You guys have been resting a lot in your inner thoughts. It's something about in that dream state, in that dream world. It's like you feel very comfortable there. You like, this is someone that likes to sleep a lot. It's like you like rest. When you dream, it's like you're in a different world. You're uh, going through these experiences and things. It's like when you wake up, it's like, it's been helping you take these masks off. And to gain this balance, that yin, that yang, the balance of the light, the balance of the dark, exposing yourself, you know? Uh, it's, it's like you is no longer having the ability to be fake and play charades at this point. You know, I've been going deep within and everything that's been within is coming out. And this is the dance of my life. I'm moving on faith and I'm doing what I want to do. I, I like that's what I'm feeling with this here. Let's continue to go into the general energy. Let's see what else we get. Someone has some type of like skill or talent or um it's something or it's something that they wanted to do that I feel like someone has kept hidden. This is a person that's a deep thinker. They're always within, they're always in their head. This person may even spend a lot of time alone. A lot of time alone just sitting out. Thinking to self dreaming. Let's see what this is. You got the Hierophant in the reverse. And you got the Queen of Cups in the reverse. And you have the Seven of Pentacles. Right under the deck you have the Ace of Wands. So. This is someone. 
again, remember when I was saying something about whatever block it is, whatever group, whatever organization, social group or something, it's you feeling like you need to expand past that. Um, you no longer may want to be committed or uh, you may no longer believe in the rules and the, and the structures or um, your ability to be a part of something that is so different than you. You know, um, you guys could have been, excuse me, you guys could have been putting in a lot of work and not receiving the merit for your effort or you could just not want to put that amount of work in to... It's something about someone being tired of waiting and feeling like they're not learning anything. They're not gaining anything for the work that they're doing. No one's acknowledging the effort that they're putting in. Or it's like other people are missing in action and you're having to do a lot of things by yourself. And um, the more and more that you have to do other people's work and their load. Like things are not getting done. Things are not being accomplished with this group. Do you understand? It's like only... I th it's like I, th it, I feel as if only you understand and like the leader may not be listening to you there's a queen of cups here in the reverse so I don't know if this again is this is someone that doesn't feel confident about their self the queen of cups in the reverse this could be like a whiner a complainer uh, or someone that you're dealing with within this organization where you feel like you're always doing something wrong. You can never do something right. Like this woman always has an issue with something. And it's like you may complain about this woman and her personality and the way that she manages or something. And like the higher ups do nothing about it because they... It's like they don't have a good rep representation or a good reputation about being good management. It's just like bad management, poor um, time management, because the seven of pentacles in the reverse could be bad time management. It's like people are not paying attention to what really matters, like some funds may be missing or certain things are not adding up or it's um, you might have been supposed to be paid for overtime and they didn't put it into your paycheck or something. And then when you come to the people about it, well, she starts complaining about some shit that happened last week. And then he's never at work. And it's, it's like, I don't know why I feel like this is a, it's a dysfunctional, I have a work organization, club organization, something where it's just, um, or this could be, uh, This could be a situation where it's though like a father and daughter and it's like she's like that because he taught her to be like that. Like she doesn't have to abide by the rules. She could just have emotional outbursts and no one ever uh, it's like checks her about it. This is someone that could be emotionally manipulative. Do you understand? To get what they want. Or always whining. Always complaining. Because uh, this person feels insecure about their self. Their inability. They may not wake up and feel beautiful sometimes. And then they come to work. And they come around other people. And take their frustrations. And Because this could be someone that doesn't truly love their self. Like they may have self body image issues. Or you know. Maybe an overeater, over a drinker, an overthinker, you know, like all of this type of stuff. Um, and again, this is this person that had to. You had to be a very skilled individual, I feel like, to be in the middle of the two and to feel like all of this effort is worthless. It's a waste of my time. No one is, is recognizing what I'm doing. Um, the money isn't. I adding up other people are not putting in work. It's like ain't shit is not happening. It's just like I I I'd rather just 
let it go. You know what I'm saying? Because it's something about once you get to the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, this is the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, this is going to be a bad mark on my rep, on my resume. Do you understand? Like, this may be something that I can't put on my resume because it will make me look bad. Do you understand? It's like, or even saying that I worked for these people or that it, it, it just will fuck up your reputation because the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse could be someone that has a shoddy representation. You know, they're known for shoddy craftsmanship. They don't show up to work. They're never on time. They're, you know, you know, like, it's just bad. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, um, I feel like it's like, because uh, I did say something about communication in the prayer. It's like speaking up and just like exposing yourself. Like, I got to put a mask on for you. I got to put a mask on for you. And I got to pay this balance act in the middle of the, between it is bullshit. That's why I say someone's been in their mind. I do feel like this is something. I have something to do with some type of work. Or if it's not work or business. It's a social group. An environment. Like I said. Some little club. Give me guidance for cancer, please. For all this general energy. What is this here? You got the concern card. I see. You got the great fortune. And again, like I said, it has something to do with money. It's like not being paid on time. Not being paid all your worth. Or they're trying to short you for hours because this person is bringing up old shit. Like, oh, well, you owe me money for last time. And you said that you was like, bitch, if you don't give me my goddamn paycheck and stop fucking playing with me, talking about some old dumb shit because you woke up today feeling ugly, bitch. If you don't go the fuck on, the hell? What is this? You got the expectation card. And then you got the, what is this, despair? So, you got expectation and concern. It has to do with money. This has to do with money. And again, I did say like this could be a daughter and a father. I don't know why I'm getting that. Expectation and concern. There is a possibility that it could be... Um, this could be talking about a relationship. This is not a work environment. Um, this could be, again, a marriage. It may be a father that has concerns that he's not meeting the, the, the daughter's expectation and her emotional wants and needs and things. Uh, this could definitely have something to do with money. And again, I want to say it's like someone missing an action, someone not paying attention to money management, like the books is not, it's something. I don't know if someone is out of a job or, again, it's like, I mean, because the Seven of Pentacles is not that the person isn't working. I mean, well, no, it could, it could be that the person has a job, but they haven't been going to work. They haven't been paying attention and doing what they're supposed to do. So when it comes to turning in these reports, it's like they're half done or, like you're missing the first sheet or it's just something that is not being proofread and eyes dotted t's crossed it's just something that it just mm -mm, it's like or you didn't pay attention at training and it's showing up in your work and it's like someone's bosses may be talking about i feel like it's one nagging person and the person that isn't managing that because I want to say that the the expectation of this person and again I feel like this could be an irritable boss like she could be a bitch because she doesn't she's not happy in her home life you know she may be going through despair in her home life and again I want to say this could be someone that sips a lot from the cup Definitely feel like it's somebody that drinks a lot or that consumes a lot of their own emotions 
and it spews it out on other people. It's just like it's it's something. Hey, let's just keep going. I don't feel like the person is out of a job. I feel like this is someone that's not showing up to work. Either because they're not being paid well, or again, it's like the environment is like because it's seven of pentacles in the reverse. It's like the environment is unchecked. It's like they don't clean up their yard, they don't wash the dishes, they don't. They're it is it's unkept. It's not tidy. It's not neat. It's not uh, like no one is tending to to certain things. What is this? The princess of swords. All right, so the Princess of Swords is um, it's like an onslaught of information. Um, maybe some information that you didn't ask for. Like this is someone that is, I want to say that gives constant critiques or talks about situation. It's like it's it's like I, I don't want to hear about this. Like I, it's, there's someone that um, really does not like drama, that does not like confrontation, that does not like to argue or overthink about things. It's just like, let me do my job. Stop Michael. Ma like, get the fuck away from me. Like, why are you always talking to me? I don't know. It's like, it's, it's, some, it's like, I can't, it's like, I can't focus on my work because this bitch is always talking to me you know what i'm saying i don't know if it's because she's trying to find out what i'm doing or something but it's something about this job it's something about this organ organization this group certain things are just being allowed maybe that's their nature that's the way that they've always operated they've always been unkept unneat things been not checked not good management skills. It's been like this for a while. And um, I think that uh, with this Princess of Swords here. And again, like you see the way she's turned around. She got her ass tooted up in the air and everything. I don't know if this is like some type of young girl or something. Because the Princess of Swords is someone young. And again, like I said, very talkative. But she's talking more because she's trying to find out information about you more than she's trying to tell you information. Like, she could be sneaky. Like, this is like a spy, like an investigator and things like that. Like, she know what she's doing. And she may be trying to find out information because she may like you or it's something of that nature. Because it's like this. I'm sorry. The way she got her little butt suited up. Like, come on, girl. Like, she's trying. <laughs> girl. <laughs> I don't know, but I, I really do feel like, um, I don't, it, it's, it's something here about, um, they're just saying information that you, someone just, t information that you didn't ask for, that's this. I think that's the problem, that's something that's bothering this person, it's like, you keep talking to me about, I, uh, like this is like someone I feel like if they could just be left alone I feel like someone just needs time to think so that they can resurface I feel like this environment isn't um, good and um, this person is, is I want to say it's a very I mean clearly this is a very talented person I feel like you're not in the right work environment. No one wants to be micromanaged. No one wants to be talked to all day where you can't focus. I don't know if this is like a young girl or somebody that's at your job that your bosses are complaining about and they're paying attention to like how much you're talking at work or something like that. Or um, again, maybe because you're young and you're impressionable, you may have got some information and you think that it's going to change the world and you're going around telling people and they don't like it because maybe they have concerns and it's something about the the upper heads concerns and expectations. Um, it's like this person is young and skilled, but it's something like they don't know what to do. It's like they're not focused on their work or something. They talk too much or they... Talk, I don't know. 
All right, let's keep going. One more card. And then we got to get about the general. We got to get to the love. The Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Again, this is some. This is still. Let me look at this card. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so you see how the Queen of Pentacles is out there with the goat in the desert and all of this stuff like that. Like the Queen of Pentacles is a very, very uh, good mother. Like she, she loves animals and things like that. She cooks. She's clean. She's an educator. Um, She's a nurturer. She knows how to plant, garden. She's like the mother of the earth and things. It's something about, and again, I, I keep getting unkept, untidy, um, bad management skills because the Queen of Pentacles knows how to make money, knows how to clean up the environment, knows how to make sure that it's a healthy environment. Again, it's this, this reading is screaming about an unhealthy work environment or an environment where certain things where you were once committed because clearly this is the hierophant so this has to do with a commitment that is not worth it anymore because it's bad management it's not a positive group it's not something that you feel like it's fit to learn from do you understand it's like people don't pay attention to their students uh the supervisors or the directors or they bring their emotional problems to work i can't think uh you got little bitches running around with their ass too like they be dressing inappropriately always talking about you know like it's it's something about this job <laughs> bitch i reloaded okay i am reloaded i'm reloaded y'all Someone needs to get a new job because it's like, I got to put a mask on for these motherfuckers. I got to put it. I feel like a fucking fool. Like, I feel like I'm constantly entertaining a pack of fucking morons or something like that. I don't know. It's like my body. It's like my work is never done because I can't fucking focus. Like, how the fuck can I focus? It's a fucking circus. Like, it's, it's a circus. No management. Like, no, uh-uh, let's see what we got here. What's this here? You got the five of spades. Listen, the five of spades is definitely cut off. Like, you know, th th this this could be something where your left, your left, what, what were they trying to say? They said you're left-handed. You're left-handed. I don't know what that has to do anything. But that's what they just told me, you're left-handed. But um, the five of spades is when it's like you're left feeling, I want to say like emotionally drained because it's like I can't stand it anymore. I don't want to deal with this anymore. Um, you can feel like you're stabbed in the back. Uh can mean surgery, like well, a surgical removal. So you may like swiftly like break away cut out like this is cutting people off not talking to people um completely remove it like a removal do you understand what i'm saying this is a removal like something bad is either bound to happen going to happen and you just don't want to deal with it anymore do you understand so this is like a again this could be a divorce a breakup this could be you putting in your resignation again this could be Something that you feel like is making you sick and you literally need to have surgery and you need to be more open-minded to surgical removal. You have the not, and then you, okay, so it's like once you decide to get away from something and cut the, 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 the cancer out of your life. Do you understand? Once you cut the cancer out of your life, remove it. It's like it, 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 it frees the blood flow. You can be happy again. It's like. You're finally getting your needs met. It's like you just got to remove yourself from a situation. Again, it's like taking the mask off and being like bare so that you could truly perform. It's like something is you can't perform in an environment like this. It's not healthy. It's not. It's, it's and again, it's like and, I, and if this is a marriage, I'm going to say this. This could be a woman that. 
may have uh, issues with her being insecure and not feeling worthy of her of certain things. Um, she's not confident within herself. This woman does drink a lot. She may I don't know why they say she puts on a whole bunch of fucking mascara. What? <laughs> Like caked up mascara. I don't know. It's she doesn't know how to dress the part. She doesn't know how to put herself together. It's something about her self-esteem that bothers her, that makes her expect a lot from people. And it's like she I want to say like it lets herself down. It's something about bad parenting it's something about i want to say like her father encourages whatever this behavior is it's like he's not a good example or it's like i don't know it's like the girl may have issues and instead of her parents checking her on it and trying to help her with it they like I said, aid and abet this behavior and just put certain levels of expectancies and wants and things on the other person. And it may be driving this person crazy. Like this person may have to deal with the expectations and concerns from the wife and her fucking father. And he's annoyed. And it's like this bitch is constantly compared. But she don't see what she's doing and how she's stressing this person out. And they're expecting this man to come home with this great fortune. But how the fuck can I focus? And this bitch calling me all the time because she think I'm, I'm I'm talking to little bitches at my job and shit. Like, I'm at job. I'm at my job trying to work. I don't give a fuck about these bitches. Like, why are you worried about these bitches? Do you understand? It's like, it's something, it's something about someone not being in the right environment. And... Uh, what is this saying? This saying met by limitations, low vibrations, negative energy, missed opportunities, misunderstandings, miscommunications, fear of commitment, breakup, a time apart, a loss of income or property, depression, unable to go on, sorrow, grief, pain. Don't lose sight of yourself or your goals. Stay in faith. Raise your vibrations. Release the past. Go with the flow, not against it. Um, and again, I need to go to my other little, um, little key source that I use for like cardamancy and stuff like that because, and I'm sorry, I should already had this page pulled up. The five of spades means... Traditionally, a card of anger, of loss, from an older symbolic meaning of the hand holding a knife. The five of spades can denote cutting someone or something out of your life. It can also denote surgical procedures, divorce, <laughs> quitting, leaving, going at it alone, loss or fear of abandonment, loneliness, depression, separation accompanied by pain, grief, sorrows, and tears. The left hand, the left handed, the left path. I, I was like, why are you telling me something about <laughs> someone being left handed? Oh, oh my God. But, and again, I, 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 t I said like someone quitting the job is like someone not being able to focus. Despair. It's like someone expecting, like these two motherfuckers expecting all of this money and things and like I, I have a this, I don't know if they don't understand that this person is going through this drama at work. And they're expecting this great fortune. I don't know if this person... I don't want to say that this person lost their job. But it's like, I'm going to lose it if y'all two motherfuckers keep calling me. And this, it, it's like, it, it could be... Again, y'all only take what resonates. And again, if none of this resonates, just enjoy the story. So you don't do this shit <laughs> You feel what I'm saying? Because I feel like there's a, an, an, an insane amount of pressure... On an individual to perform in an unkept environment. It's not a positive environment. How do you expect me to put a mask on for you? Put a mask on for you? Do what I need to do for me? And just all of this and like in and this bullshit? It's like y'all don't even clean up. And it's like 
again the queen of pentacles and the queen of cups in the reverse this is not a woman that take care of herself this is not a woman that believes in herself she's not paying attention to the kids she's not cleaning up the house she's not feeding the animals like you know this is this is not a good combination of something so again with these two cards coming out once you do that surgery that removal you will get everything that you want with this Knight of Hearts. This says chemistry, soulmate connections, romantic or non-romantic. We have multiple soulmates in a lifetime. Soulmate connections help us gain valuable lessons, cut karmic ties, and complete soul contracts and agreements. Overall, soulmates are here to help us with the soul's evolution. This means meaningful relationships, blessings from remaining in faith. Remember I told you the fool is about jumping out there just moving on faith since manifestations become real sexual partnerships passion longevity over indulgence and just in general this means wishes granted wishes granted let me tell you The nine of hearts, wishes, hopes, dreams, aspirations, your wishes coming true, success, accomplishments, desires fulfilled, a positive outcome. So again, once the environment is changed, a lot of things will be changed. So let me get into the love portion of the reading. I'm going to be using my rebel deck today. I'm going to do a spread for the couples. And then a spread for my singles. And then I'm going to use these decks over here to just clarify what's going on with you guys. In love, in love, in love. Okay. I am reloaded. Let's get it. So let's see who we want to start it with first. Let's start with my singles, singles, singles. Let's get it. All right, Father God, give me guidance for my singles. Give me guidance for my single cancers. Tell me the answer. Come on. What's going on with my singles? What's going on with my singles, baby? What's going on with my singles? Something going on. Tell me. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. This says you a grown ass adult. Stop blaming. <laughs> Stop blaming others for your shit. <laughs> Come on now. It said, get your head out your ass pronto cancer. Come on. Y'all getting, y'all getting pulled the fuck up on today. Okay, what the hell? It says you a hot mess. Facts. Clean up yourself. Now, I'm didn't I tell y'all there is some woman here that is like, in, uh, uh, uh. Ooh, stop blaming. It says, you're a grown-ass adult. Stop blaming others for your shit. Get your head out your ass pronto. You're a hot mess. Facts. Clean yourself up in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus! Let's see what's behind this. It says, it's not everyone else's fault. It's yours. It's something y'all are not taking responsibility for. It says, you look like a shit show in the name of Jesus. It's dark. And you can't see a fucking thing. So this this is someone right here in the singles group. You're not taking a good self check about yourself. And if you're single and you want to know why you're single, this is why. This may be the way people are viewing you. Maybe you don't see it because they're saying it's dark and you can't see shit. It's like it's something about your personality, the way you come off. Um, again, it could be your expectations that you may have of others while you don't have certain shit cleaned up yourself. And again, you could you could give people a lot of unsolicited advice. Um, and again, the the page of swords encourages you to take a deeper look, to investigate, to find out, to educate yourself, to make sure that you're speaking. And proper timing. Do you understand? It's about 
mature conversation because at this stage it could be very immature conversation do you understand so you need to be more self-aware it's about self-awareness so again your grown-ass adult stop blaming people for your shit it's not everybody else's fault it's yours taking accountability it says you look like a shit show you're a hot mess facts clean yourself up again with that queen of cups in the reverse the queen of pentacles in the reverse this is about confidence you believing in yourself the way you carry yourself is the way people gonna carry you you know self accountability respect Honor, integrity, always show up on time. Showing up on time is being 15 minutes late. Being 15 minutes early is showing up on time. Don't ever forget that. Don't ever play yourself. Do you understand? Because the way that you carry yourself and the way you victimize yourself is the way that life is going to victimize you. Do you understand? So it's, it's just somewhere here in this single section is getting a check. Get your head out your ass pronto. It's dark. You can't see a fucking thing. Someone needed to see this. Someone needed this. You know? And again, only take what resonates. If it doesn't resonate with you, just listen. Because you may need to tell a friend. This this may be you needed to hear this to tell somebody that you know this information. Let's uh, clarify what's going on a little bit deeper in love with my... And if there's anybody that is so kind to put the timestamps, because I've never really had to put the timestamps in these videos. If y'all are at this moment in here, can we get the stars in the chat? And if someone can do the timestamps for me, that would be amazing. Greatly appreciate it. Let's see what we got going for my singles. Tell me what's going on for my single cancers. Thank you so much. Compatibility. It's certain things right now that you guys need to work on with yourself. And it's about you truly being compatible with the right person. You understand? I'm looking at that get your head out your ass pronto. It's something that you don't see about yourself that you need to clean up. For you to truly find something and it be in the right environment with the people that you need that will truly complement you and what you need in your life, baby. Do you understand? It's about compatibility, baby. Let's see what else we got going on here. Alright. Uh. Clarify what's going on for me, please, for... Love for my cancer singles. Thank you so much. Shout out to all my unicorns in the building. And again, this is talking about positive communication. Uh, this is this is again. This is something about someone having like juvenile communication. Like sound like a kid or the sounding like you need to. Speak from a site of wisdom. And again, not speaking. It's, it's, it's not about speaking and that's spoken to because it's like someone talks a lot and may give out too much unsolicited information. It's something about that. The birds is about open and free communication. You talk, but let other people talk back. Like, don't talk people's head off and like, listen. Because remember I was saying it's like this person talks a lot, but they're talking more because they want to find out information about you. But they think that that's a positive form of communication and it's not. Like that's not a healthy back and forth. Something about someone changing their communication. Alright, give me two. Give me two cards for my cancer. Got the damn queen of cups in the... Y'all just got that. Um, um, cancer is it, it, my cancer man. Are y'all dating? Uh, are y'all dating another cancer Pisces Scorpio? Like, what's going on? Oh, is this the cancer woman? What is going on? Like, again, okay, you got the hermit and then you got the ace of swords in the reverse. So, again, what this is basically telling me is someone isn't self aware. 
it's something that they are not understanding with their ace of swords in the reverse or they don't believe it to be true it's like i, I don't think that i'm insecure i don't i don't think that you know uh, i have self-esteem issues or what the baby the hermit card is about going within spending some time on yourself and cleaning yourself up bottom line it's something that you don't see it's something that you're not understanding and you're not going to Truly be self-aware until you really spend some time to yourself so that you could be on the outside looking in and what other people are seeing and saying about you. Like, this is not, this, this Queen of Cups is not going to keep repeating for no reason. And it's a reason why someone is single right now because even the Hermit is about someone being alone. It's about self-discovery. You see in the light, you see how he has the light? So... There's a reason why you're single right now. Let me get my last little advice for love for my single cancers. Give me two cards, please. Thank you so much. All right. If you, of course, y'all get three cards. Make the effort. You got children. And then you got heart-to-heart -heart con um, conversation in the reverse. So I feel like someone needs to... Focus a little bit more on their children right now. If you have children. Um, yeah, if you have children, I feel like before you go into the next relationship, it's something about you. Um, it's like putting a certain focus on your children so that they won't feel. I want to say like it sprung up on them or something like that. Or it might be a conversation that should have been had about the last relationship and how it may have affected your children. It's something about that. And I want to say with the Ace of Swords in the reverse, it could be something about that that you don't see or you're not acknowledging. Maybe how it's something, it's something that I feel like that affected. Or it may be a situation about. If you don't have kids, it's like you have this desire to be a mother or I don't know if they're like if you were high school sweethearts with someone and something didn't work out um, and it could have affected you and your communication skills and your belief. And, and, and certain things, and like you obtaining like a healthy love or something. Because again, it has, it's screaming something about insecurity. Um, someone really not taking care of their self. Paying attention to their outward appearance to how the world is looking. Like you got the shit show, your head is up your ass, you need to clean yourself up. I mean, it's like, I don't know if this could be... I don't know if it could be about someone needing to grow up. Um, it's like your life is being affected by children. I don't know if it's that God feels like you're acting like child. You're acting like children. Or you're around people that demonstrate and act like children. And it's like someone needs to grow up. It's like someone needs to grow up. And if you want a different standard of life, it's like someone needs to mature. You're not a child. You need to get over whatever this past thing is with that. You need to let it go. You understand it. You need to have more approachable adult-like behavior so that you can be more compatible with people that are on your level unless you want to continue with the child's play. And it's something about you needing to have a real true heart-to-heart -heart conversation with yourself about things that might have happened in the past when you were children or you need to discuss certain things about your past relationship and how it affected you and your children but whatever it is it's like you need to have a conversation about it and you need to let it go and if you are a parent you need to put your children first you need to heal yourself from whatever this past relationship is because with this ace of cups and with this um queen of cups in the reverse and the queen of pentacles in the reverse is someone that's not paying attention to their home 
and your children. It's like you need to make an effort in that first before you can do anything else because these cards are saying that someone is a mess and they need to clean up their house before they can do anything else. Okay? So that was that. That was for my singles. Let's get into this with my couples. Let's see what we got going on for y'all. Damn singles. I'm so sorry that y'all got y'all ass toes fuck up like that. Because <laughs> y'all ain't got y'all ass total fuck up. Okay? God damn, okay? Shit. Oh my god, dang, they went on y'all. Five of God's hold on. Let me tell you what the fuck is going on. Okay, now. <laughs> Let me ring the bell. Hello, Father. Need the energy. Father. Hello. Okay. Tell me what's going on with my uh couples. What we got here? Say, get the hell out of town. It will make you both lovable again. Come on now. Go ahead and take a vacation. Okay, get fucked on the balcony over watching the sand and the water and the, and, and, and the sunset and shit. Come on now. It says, yes, work is important, but your partner is more important. Okay? It said, you see shit differently. That's life with another person. Wait. You see shit differently. That's life with another person. Good times. Love them anyway. Okay, come on now. I like that. Now let's 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 park it. Let's park it. Let's park it there. At the top. Oh shit. At the top we got you fucked up. And at the bottom it says let them fucking finish. Okay. Let them fucking finish. Can I just talk about that real quickly? Um that you fucked up and let them finish. Let, let 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 somebody finish what they're saying first before you interject and try to correct and, and say what you want to say. Do you understand? Let people finish their sentence. Like it will lessen arguments. Okay. Um, let's see. Get the hell out of town. It will make you both lovable again. Pack your bags. You guys really really need a vacation and start dating each other again. It will put a different energy into your relationship. Y'all, if somebody here is a workaholic and they don't take as much time as they should with their relationship, then they do try to get the money to take care of the relationship. you got to make sure that in any relationship, it's important that you still keep courting each other. Because when it gets stale, it gets stagnant and gets boring. That's when people start doing dumb shit and start looking for that spontaneity, that spark, that energy in other places and you do not want nobody to do that don't ever fall out of love do not ever stop dating your partner do you understand yes work is important your partner is more important what is just what this thing said fuck your job fuck your job take this goddamn trip fuck your job take some vacation time get the hell out of town that job is not more important than making sure that your relationship and your home life is thriving. Pack your pack your bags. Fuck that job. Okay? Shit, it may be one of y'all that wanted to go on a vacation and the other one didn't because they didn't want to have to put use their time and fuck that job. It says you see shit differently. That's life with another person. Good times. Agree to fucking disagree. Look. Agree to fucking disagree. And again, you fucked up. Let this person finish. Where does it? Let the fucker finish. Stop fucking up by over talking and thinking that you know everything. Agree to disagree. Let this person finish saying what they're saying. Get their thoughts out. You heard that person. They heard you. Regardless if y'all agree or not. Agree to fucking dis disagree. You see things differently. That's life with another person. Good times. Listen, at least you got each other. Y'all not going to agree on every damn thing. Look, regardless what happened, love them anyway. People are messy. Love them anyway. So, okay, we going back to about people cleaning up and shit. Listen, your man is messy. Okay? Just clean the shit up. 
and tell that motherfucker, like, listen, I'm not going to keep cleaning up these goddamn beer cans and shit. Can you put it in a goddamn truck? But, you know, love him anyway. That's your man. What's that meme? It was like, that's your man. Yeah, and I'm going to stick with him. <laughs> so let's see what we got going on for the couples. I, I mean, I like this energy that we got going on for the couples because it just seems like you guys just need to continue to love on each other more. And have space for your work life and your love life. You need to tell your work life, listen... You gonna have to back up. I need to. I need. I need to get me some loving. I need to have some good times. I need to have some good sex, and I need to have some good food. You know. So I need a vacation. Like we we can't do this. What is it saying? Boundaries again, again. That is what I'm saying in this in these cards. Y'all need to set boundaries with your work life. In your love life. Do you understand? Your work life should not bleed into your love life. Where you feel like someone is always work. Man. Well, fuck that job. Do you understand what I'm saying? Please do not bring your work life home. Please make sure that you're taking care of your partner. Making sure that your partner still feels the love. Still feels that spark. Y'all should still be lusting after each other. Y'all should still have that lust and desire. If you feel like anything is starting to bring stress and obligations and things into your head where it's interfering with your baby, baby, baby time. Not interfering with your baby, baby, baby time. Baby, no baby, baby, baby time. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh, you got to set some bad. Fuck that job. Yes, work is important, but your partner is more important. Please set boundaries. Set boundaries. All right, let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Look, we did three for y'all. Let's do three for All right? Let's see. Boundaries. Let's go. Because I feel like someone is trying to put their foot down because it's like, I'm. all we do is work. Like, let's do something for once in a while. And it's like, the other person doesn't want to spend the money or doesn't want to take the time off. And it's like, that's not going to work for me no more. I will put the request in for you, you know? What is this? The Four of Swords. The Ten of Wands. Again, someone taking some time off, taking a rest, taking a vacation. Do you understand? Well, the Four, the four of Swords isn't necessarily a vacation. But, I mean, it is someone resting. Taking a mental break. It, it can be a damn vacation. The page of cups in the reverse. So, I feel like this is someone that is feeling emotionally drained. Uh, okay. I want to say that this is, this is someone that really needs to take a mental vacation. Because... They're carrying a lot of baggage. Um, and I feel like they're doing it by themselves. Someone feels like they're doing a lot of the work by themselves. And the pressure of feeling like they have to carry so much obligations and to take care of everybody. I got to do. I, it's like I got to be everything for everybody. And I can't be all the things all the fucking time. Like I need a break to myself. There's someone here that feels that. Because of this constant demand and obligations, like no one else is taking the slack from them to try to help them. It does kind of make you fall out of love. It makes you feel unappreciated. It's like, does anyone see me carrying all of this shit by myself? Is anybody going to help? You don't see how fucking tired I am? So, the three of swords up here, it's, it could be like, um, sometimes... The third party in your relationship doesn't necessarily have to be another person. It could be stress. It could be the constant demand of a job. The constant feeling like I'm alone trying to make a whole bunch of decisions and try to carry the workload to take care of my household and no one else is picking up the slack to kind of help me. I don't have time to think about love. I don't have, I barely have time to rest. 
Do you understand? So, I feel that. And I, I think I kind of said something about this in the general energy. And this does kind of have something to do. And, the thing, and, this, and this person, this person knows. I know what's making me fall out of love. I know, you know, and it's like, but don't nobody else see. You know, no one else isn't seeing it. You know what I'm saying? I see it. Uh, and this person does need to set boundaries because there's like a constant demand. It's like, I, I can't take a vacation. If I take a vacation, who going to pay these bills? And then y'all going to be stressing and bitching about, you know, again, you had someone with concern and, and, and expectations. So it's like, I can't, I can't. That's kind of sad. That's kind of sad. But it's... And again, um, if, if there's someone complaining about someone being messy and it's saying love them anyway, if you was coming home and you was working and busting your ass off, you feel like cleaning up? Would you feel like being nagged at about someone's shoes being someplace? Bitch, pick the shit up. Love them anyway and pick this shit up. You going to work doing all of this shit? No? You want a vacation, but are you helping this person have the ability to take a vacation? Are you... It needs to be equal. Do you understand what I'm saying? I feel like someone here needs to have boundaries on their demands and expectations. You need to make sure that you're bringing the same amount of work to the table. And you're not placing it all on one person. And expecting all of the things. When you are not doing none of the things. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, And then you wonder why this person is acting indifferent. And sometimes I feel like the y'all just need to... Y'all need to, again, like I said, set boundaries with the work. And maybe someone else, the other person that's not working as hard as the other person, maybe you need to pick up some of the slack to help that person so that they can have more free time. And there is more balance. And y'all can take these vacations and do these things. Okay. All right. Y'all got a couple of cards. Let's see what we got. You got express your love. You got chemistry. You got the forgive and learn in the reverse. And then you got the flirt in the reverse. I do read these in reverse. So, um, the forgiving and learning in the reverse and the flirt in the reverse. Because look at this man's face. And you see how this person is crying to this man. Like trying to get him to forgive her and understand where she was coming from. And it's like even spirit is like over top of him. Like, man, just forget this bitch. You know, this bitch stupid as hell. This bitch, she dumb. Like, she ain't mean it. Like, just let the shit go. And you're like, man, man, listen. I don't even know if I fucking like this bitch anymore. <laughs> Like, I'm so sorry. It's like there's no chemistry. Like, it's like the flirting is dead. It's like hard to express your love. It's something where, it's like, he loves this person, but it's something that y'all need to talk about. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like you got to get the chemistry back and you got to learn how to express your love again. It's something. That happened here. And I want to say it has something to do with someone not wanting to work. Is expecting a whole bunch of shit. But ain't. It's that someone has the brunt of the responsibility solely on their back alone. And then you want a fucking vacation. And then you arguing because I left my shoes in the floor. Bitch, bitch if you don't shut the fuck up. Like, don't, don't hit don't, don't hit her though. <laughs> but I'm just saying. It's just like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? 
Ugh. Oh, and then I actually picked up heart to heart conversation. Yeah, y'all definitely need to have a heart to heart conversation about something because it's something that. Again, I feel like the other person doesn't realize that they're having the whole brunt of the workload on their back solely and you're still expecting a whole bunch of shit from me and you're not even trying to help me, but you want me to show you all these love. Bitch, I'm tired. Do you th I don't feel like coming home flirting. Period. Period. Okay, so it's, it's something about you guys needing to that bygones be bygones and again I, I just went over here to the agree to fucking disagree you sh you see shit differently that's like with another person and they're being sarcastic and saying good time it's something that she doesn't see about herself and, 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 and that he doesn't possibly see where she's coming from you guys need to forgive and learn from whatever it is that y'all are going through. I think y'all need to make more time for each other. Um, this person is working a hell of a lot. But it's because it's just, he's trying to take care. He or she is trying to take care of the family. And I feel like there needs to be equal give and take. And you guys need to help each other out. And spend more time with each other. And y'all then y'all can start to flirt. Then the chemistry will come back. And then you can express your love. Do you understand? But if there's... All of the burden being put on one time. The motherfucker is tired. I don't feel like flirting. I don't feel like having sex. I'm tired. Bitch. When I'm going to go pay for vacation. To go somewhere in another country to sleep. Bitch. Why can't I sleep here? Like what? Like, I'm fucking tired. Once you get a job and fucking help me, then I would want to fuck you more. Then I would want to flirt with you more. Then I would want to take you out. Then we would want to go on vacation. Shit would be different. But if you don't want to work and everything's on me, what the fuck you want me to do? Fuck you and your father, bitch. Okay? And I'm reloaded. I'm gone. Ugh. Okay? So I'm about to hit cancer. I hope this uh, helps somebody. Y'all, make sure you hit the like button. Tell me how this resonated down in the comments. If you know somebody that this resonated for, if you know that this is somebody's story, y'all make sure y'all share these videos. Make sure you show me some love. And I love you. And I love, 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 love you. Peace.